Hello everyone, this is Excalibur. Welcome back. We are going to take a look at the resources I've been gathering from the Turtle Quarry. Now, uh, as you know, I have set up this little system, and I'm probably going to make it a little bit more automated in the future. <laughs> Not probably, I am. And, as you can see, it's an empty ender chest, but then we have stuff that pumps directly in here. And we'll go ahead you see me do this. This is the boring part of transferring this over to the deep storage unit. We are not in danger of filling this thing up yet. Um, it goes all the way to two billion items stored. So that's very, very handy. I've put in two more, one for sand and one for dirt, because the amount of sand and dirt we're gathering is really, really going to explode. I'm just going to grab the non-cobble resources. I'm going to put those away. So yeah, it's all cobblestone, and there's nothing in here, so I cleaned these all out before. So we've been gathering a lot of flint, um, and some more uranium. We may do uh, a nuclear reactor, um, since uh, I have not done one of those at all, ever. We're probably going to need another one for gravel, I don't know. We don't have a super huge amount. Uh, where are we? Here we go. We've picked up a total of 29 diamonds, which means we can make a normal quarry, but we want to create a an ender quarry. So let's put these sapphires away. Let's go to the magic chest, which I think is right there. Put these in there, along with that goes in there. Uh, we hit uh, in the last uh, quarry session, we hit a an abandoned mine. So we'll go out and take a look at what we have there in a second. There we go. And all oh, we need to put the sand away that I have up there. Here we go. Sand, you are right here. There. Just the two. I found an axe of the stream, which, by the way, has what I've been looking for. Fast destruction of leaves. And, by the way, this is the ores that we found. I thought we were using cinnabar incorrectly, but it's a different type of fluid. So if we type in cinnabar and we click on it, this is how uh, well, it uses. Uh, you can, of course, turn it into quicksilver, and quicksilver, you can turn it into quicksilver drops. Quicksilver drops aren't used for much, just creating more quicksilver. So, uh, anyway, going back here, if we go to the redstone furnace, it does the same thing whenever you smelt it down, but fluid transposer. Um, I thought this was water, looking at it, but cinnabar. What does cinnabar do in this form? Why, in a pulverizer, it increases the amount of redstone you get from a redstone ore. And, well, when you pulverize redstone, you get cinnabar. Cinnabar itself, look at that. You can create it there, of course. Pulverizer, yeah, sorry, that's that's how you get it. But what are the uses of Cinnabar? Induction smelter. One ore to three ores and rich slag with aluminum ore. Three ingots, and this is ingots. Um three with one set of bar to one ore for everything and you still get the uh, um, shiny ink and stuff like that you don't have to pulverize it first and of course if you do gold you get rich slag because um, gold has no secondary byproduct same thing with dark iron no more having to create the special pyruthium and lastly we have silver which creates lead and then there's the ore dictionary. So we need to um, get silk touch going and get redstone ore as much as possible so we can triple our ore production. But in any case, let's go out here. Um, there is a volcano over that away. We're going to go down and get some lava. And then we're going to come back. Ooh, he's doing very nice. And we're going to go down and take a look at that. Um, 
that abandoned mine. See if we can find a chest or a spawner right away. So I'm going to go up here. I've been deciding to play it safe in this thing. There's the third village. Um, we're going to go down here. There we go. We're going to kill those three blocks and grab two source of lava and fly out. <laughs> we don't need to die down there. But uh, I do plan on mining up all of this um, basalt because I would like to use it for building creeper bunkers. Creeper bunkers? What are they? Well, if this reacts the same way as it does from red power, um, it doesn't die when a creeper explodes. There we go. Ah, here we are. Let's get our trusty sword ready. We're going to see what's down here. Let's zoom in. I think we have skeletons right on the other side here. Ooh. Okay. We no need to uh go what what happened? It came up and disappeared. Yep. So we're gonna actually be taking care of this entire area. Um I did come in here and light it up a little. We have a skeleton down there. We have a bat and water there. And we've got a creeper there. <laughs> so we will be uh, mining that up soon enough. I just want to work it out. Um, in my SMP server that I ran for a while, I started doing a 64 by 64 um, hole down to bedrock. Yeah, we're going to get lots of sand and quicksand here. And this makes it a lot easier. But today, we're going to start working on some of the necessary blocks for our ender pump, our ender, ender quarry. Let's get down here. I don't want to fall from that height, so here we go. <clears throat> Let me get a quick drink here, and then we're going to go down and get obsidian and ender pearls. Here we go! Hooray! Oh, we're going to... These ender pearls should have matured by now. Ooh, how about I not fall off the cliff in human form, huh? Okay, so we've got mature all the way down. All right. Reverse those. And then I think this gets us to where we need to be anyway. There we go. Ender lilies to the rescue. Alright, come in here. Grab those. That gives us 21 total. We're going to need to put this away and we're going to grab a stack. So, our ender quarry. Ender. We need to get an ender pump done sooner or later. Alright, we need ender infused obsidian there we go I'm gonna grab two stacks of that do, 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 do. all right where is it again there it is that's ender core ender pump ender quarry so we have these two guys we have plenty of saplings let's do the ender core we need four of these. Ooh, we need a lot more than I thought. So let's, let's 
two ender infused obsidian. We need one, two, three, four more. Okay. That's eight, nine, ten. Plus, that's uh, 14, 18. So let's make sure we have 18. Boom. There we go. That should be more than enough. All right. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause for a moment, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and uh, we're in the process of building ourselves an ender quarry. Um, I determined that we need one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, let's get back to the quarry. Uh, ten, and then four more, fourteen, and finally eighteen. And then in here, we're going to need one more, which is nineteen, which we have. Okay, so... We've got all of those taken care of. Uh, we need the diamond pickaxe, and uh, we'll look at the at this here. So we need one eye of ender there. These are magical books and stuff. We'll get to that. Uh, so we need an eye of ender there, an eye of ender there. We need an eye of ender here, and an eye of ender here. So let's go ahead and. Get us some blaze powder. There we go. More than enough. <laughs> uh, I apologize. My my wife and son are having fun out in the hall getting ready for the day. So we need one, two, three, four. I think it's five total eyes fender. Yep, there's two there. Um Nope, just four, it looks like. One here, yep, four. So let's go ahead and get four. One, two, three, four. There we go. <laughs> My son thinks he's a monkey. So we have that. We need to get ourselves some sticks, which I have right here, and some diamonds, which I have in the thing here. We don't need that many, which is which is quite awesome. So here we go. We're going to need one diamond pick. Luckily these work well. There we go. One diamond pick. Um, in here we need four and then we need burnt quartz. So we need to go down here to our nether quartz. We need 16. Oh, we got it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. E down the way. And we'll go up and smelt this, this quartz. We'll do it pretty quick here. There we go. Right about that. You should see a start up. It's going to take twice. Uh, two per. So we pretty much uh, quadruple the speed. We're going to grab some iron here. Not quadruple. We double it. So we get things out twice as fast as you normally would. So there we go. Grab that. And let's head on down here. And get back to building, shall we? All right. It was this. We need four burnt quartz, one of the ender infused obsidian, and then four diamonds. So here's our four burnt quartz. Um, one of the ender infused obsidian, and then four diamonds. Yay, we have the computational matrix, which is right there. We've got that. We need a sapling, so let's go grab ourselves a sapling. Woo! Lag spike. Love it when that happens. And let's check here. We've got a lot of sand. Alright, so we have the middle row.
So let's take a look at the endothermic pump. We're going to need two iron pickaxes, two buckets of water, and two buckets of lava. We have the buckets of water right here. Let's make the iron picks. One, two, one, and two. All right. <clears throat> and we need ender infused obsidian. So it goes like this. Boingy, boingy, bingy, boo, water, buckets, and obsidian, two. There we go. We need two of those. So why not? Why didn't I just do this? Because uh, it doesn't do it. So we need two of these. We need two of these. We need that, that, and that. And then we need two of these. So we go one, two, and we'll grab two endothermic pumps, which we need another bucket of water, a bucket of lava, and the other pick. And bam, there we go. So let's put all of the resources here. We have the bottom. Yay, we've got this. We've got this. We've got that. We've got those. We just need to create these guys. Now we're going to need bookshelves. And we're going to need four enchanted books plus four ingots. So we've got to empty out our inventory here. We do not need this iron anymore. Uh, we will need the diamonds. We need this. We don't need that. Um, we can put the obsidian back. And I think we can put the um, ender pearls back. Uh, yep. Yep, we can put the ender pearls back too. Good. There's that. We can put the sticks back. We're done with those. There we go. Oh, look, I had two iron pickaxes. Um, we need these. We need those. We can put the crafting table back. And we'll put the buckets and this stuff back. I'll just put this all right here for now. One thing I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to grab one of these dudes. Let's head upstairs. We have a lot of enchanting to do. So we're going to get some extra levels here real quick. That might be enough. That might not be enough. We'll have to see. Um, we're going to sleep. There we go. And upstairs we go. What we're going to do is, uh, I, I've been needing enchanting tables everywhere. There we go. And uh, we'll grab this dude and place him right here. Yeah. There we go. That works. So, we have to make four eight of these things. Each one requires four books. So we need 32 total enchanted books. We don't have enough levels. But uh, we can grab a stack. And if my math is right, there's two of these. So we need four of this. Right? Four of these guys. And there's 16 here, so there's 16 and 32, plus we need bookshelves. So we're going to go ahead and start enchanting. We're going to use this chest to hold everything. So we need level 1 enchants, and this is wasteful, but... We're going to get rid of all these bookshelves. We'll put them back. There we go. We're 
what I need to do is uh, set up a, a configurable system. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's put all the books back. And get to enchanting. We want level 1 enchants. And uh, we'll see where we go next episode. Sex Caliber, I'm out. Welcome back, everybody. Um, we're going to go ahead, and yeah, I was making some bookcases, and here they are. We're going to go ahead and continue crafting these. We need these balls, uh, magical wood boxes. So that's how you make it. We're going to go ahead and put in our gold. We only have enough for three with these enchanted books. So uh, this is going to be the tedious part of it. There we go. Uh, it's enchanted book 403. That's right, right? I got it backwards, okay. Okay, do we need oak bookshelves? That's the case. Yeah, we need the specific bookshelves. So let's get some oak wood, which uh, we have a lot of. No problem. And, uh,. Please forgive the, the voices in the back. My wife and son are getting ready for the day. They're looking for hats. And uh, my wife does not understand um, <laughs> that I record YouTube yet. We are a little laggy here. So please forgive me. Achievement get getting wood. Wow. We are a little laggy because I'm trying to make space on the hard drive to fit this episode at the same time as recording this episode. So this is taking a little bit of time and a little bit of resources. Ugh. There we go. We'll go ahead and make as much of this as we can. Dump it in here. Yeah, I'm a very clumsy person today. Well, the good thing is we can actually make bookcases with the Natura stuff, but... There we go. Oh, well, we're going to need that. Let's get this going here. And we'll do this. There we go. Now we should be able to uh, plop this here. And then put our gold. Okay, I will be right back.